On YouTube, people talk about movies. On YouTube, people talk about uh, various forms of entertainment. Anime, manga, TV shows, cartoons, comic books, graphic novels. But they don't really talk a lot about books. You'll see uh, an odd video from a YouTuber every now and then talking about a book they're reading. But it is, it is kind of hard to talk about books on YouTube. Um, there's not a lot you can do with what you can show. You can probably... Probably? What the fuck is wrong with me? You can probably, like, show... Like the cover arts of the books, you can show like uh, caricatures of, of the characters in the books, pictures of the characters in the books. You can't really show clips of the books or, or pages of the books because it, it's just words. Books, books are just words. And I don't even have any props because I read solely on my phone because people who read with real books are animals. Animals. I, 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 I could rant about how easy it is to read on a fucking phone for hours, but people like paper books and I'm okay with that. You know, people like to feel that fucking paper against their hand and I'm just not a fan. It makes my teeth hurt. It's it's weird. I, I have a weird thing about touching paper. It's kind of like ah, ah, I have really shitty teeth so anything can set them off. But I, I like books a lot and I wanted to kind of make uh, a YouTube video or a YouTube series um, talking about what books I'm currently reading. Uh, you know, it's it's something that not a lot of people I know are going to like. Um, I, I, I don't really have, you know, uh, a, a good standing for, for talking about really any form of media since I'm just a fucking idiot. But I, I like reading. You know, my YouTube channel used to be called Brent Daniel Reads, and I read a lot of fan fiction and shitty stories uh, because I like reading. Reading bad stuff is one of my favorite things, but I also like to read good stuff. So what I'm reading is a series uh, called Garrett P.I., and it is fantastic. It's written by Glenn Cook, who also wrote Black Company. Uh, I like to read a lot of fantasy uh, sci-fi is kind of on and off for me. You know, I like Frank Herbert's Dune, but it was kind of fucking weird. Like, by the book where the kid was a giant fucking worm person, I kind of was like, I don't know what's going on. And then I finished it, and I really don't remember much aside from Let the Spice Flow. Uh, that kid was a giant fucking worm person and blue people. That's, that's all I remember. That's all I remember from Frank Herbert's Dune. That's all I kept in my head. Uh, so I wanted to talk about Garrett P.I., which is a fantasy book series uh, 14 books, I'm on the 14th one right now, and it's about this detective in a fantasy setting, like a traditional fantasy setting, kind of kind of elves and dwarves, but in a city, in, in a big city, is, is where most of the books take place. The first book, they kind of go somewhere else, but pretty much all the other books after the first one uh, take place in the in the main city. Um, it is this emperor, empire, uh, quarantine, that's kind of the setting. And they're always at war with these guys named Venegati uh, for these silver mines because these silver mines, mages use silver. They don't really explain a lot of that because it's a first-person perspective uh, and it's told from Garrett. And Garrett is a detective. You know, he used to be a Marine and now he is bumbling about solving cases and getting the shit kicked out of. Uh, one of my favorite characters in the series, uh, there's this race. And I don't know if this race is specific to the Garrett P.I. books. Um, it's these big mammoth people who, uh, when they die, they don't really completely die. They can still, like, telepathy, like, they can speak te telepathically. They can, they can speak mind to mind, and they can also, like, use mind magic and, like, take information from people or read their minds or break into people's minds if they have, like, mental defenses. Uh, there's a, there's a whole lot of shit based on that. Uh, and, and he is, he is essentially Garrett's partner throughout the book series. Uh, in the first book... Garrett just kind of goes and sees him as kind of a consultant, but throughout the rest of the books, he's he's a he's a standard character, he's a partner, uh, and he is extremely useful. He Garrett will bring someone by, and uh, the logger, his name is Dead, the the Dead Man. You know, he's because he's, he's dead. He, he died like four hundred, five hundred years ago, and now he's just still here. Like, hey, what's up? Uh, the Dead Man can basically break into their mind and read their thoughts, and he'll speak cryptic like cryptically to Garrett. Uh, most of the time, he'll figure out something, and then he won't ter tell Garrett all the information so that Garrett figures it out on his own, uh, which can be frustrating because uh, I am not a huge fan of these uh, kind of this cryptic bullshit in some fantasy stuff. Uh, Garrett's not either. He, he often says, cut the cryptic bullshit, and I, I do like that. You know, you get a, a lot of these characters who meet the, uh, meet the kind of wise sage, and the wise sage gives them some random fact of wisdom like the grass will tell you where to go and the, the main character's like oh yes i don't know what that means but i'll figure it out i promise and then later on it's like oh that's what he meant by that garrett's just kind of like what what the fuck are you, why can't you just tell me go go there or go there 
And Dead Man does that sometimes. He'll just be like, go here. Or go there. Go th- get this person so I can tell them what to do to help you out. And I, I enjoy that. Um, there are some really good books in this series, and the favorites of mine include uh, the Petty Pewter Gods is really good in my opinion. It, it deals with minor gods and all their religions, and there's a lot of uh, really good world building in it. Uh, another one is Angry Lead Skies, which is basically fucking aliens. Just fucking aliens. That's that's fucking great. Let's let's take fantasy. Let's take detective books. Let's put in sci-fi. And the aliens are still mentioned throughout the rest of the books after that one, which is it's great. Uh, there's a lot of consistency in this book series. Um, a character that is introduced in book two or three, you'll see them again uh, constantly if they're a major player. Um, Garrett kind of has this family that uh, of of associates that grows up until um, this current book I'm on, which is I don't know if it's the the last one. It was released in 2013, so it's been three four years now since it's come out. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be another one after that. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled, but I am really liking this series. I don't want to spoil too much because I I could sit here talking about it for l- probably an hour. But there are just some fucking great moments. Just some weird fucking great moments in this book series. Like when Garrett fucks a god, or like when Garrett fucks a, an alien, or like when Garrett fucks the crime boss's daughter. You know, there's... Or when Garrett fucks a ghost. He fucked a ghost. He fucks a fucking ghost. It's like Sims 3 level. Fuck a ghost. It's... You know, it's... He, you know, there's a... There's kind of that part of the book. But it's not really smut. It's just like, oh man, they don't even really describe the sexual scenes. It just kind of happens, and then boop, next day, it's Garrett's perspective again, and then he wakes up, and then he's like, hmm, that was that's pretty great. I liked that. But it's, uh, it's a good series. If you are a fan of traditional fantasy, if you're a fan of detective novels, definitely check it out. Uh, also check out Black Company, and if you're looking for a, a really good fantasy read, Black Company is just so good. It's it's definitely really good dark fantasy. Uh, Wheel of Time is also really good, but that's a completely different author. And I've already read those, so I'm not going to be making videos on them probably. Who knows? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But, I don't know. If I was going to rate the Garrett P.I. series, I'd probably give it about a 7. Like a solid 7 out of 10. Like a like a pretty pretty good 7. Pretty good 7. But anyway, that's that's me talking about books. Um, You know, I, I, I kind of just say what I, I like a little bit about them. And then uh, just let you decide. I say read the first book, and if it's not your thing, you know, drop it. If you really do like it, keep reading it. Uh, it doesn't really slow down. It kind of escalates. But then, uh, I don't know, 13th book is kind of kind of an odd one in, in the bunch. But 14 is pretty good so far, and I, I really enjoy it. So definitely check out Garrett P.I. If you want to see me talk about books more in the future, let me know. Um, this is kind of a trial video. Uh, I did that one video where I talked about the the shitty Harry Potter book that released, and people seemed to enjoy that, so I thought I'd just be like, oh, let's just do kind of a webcam thing where I talk about it, and then you can also see my fucking ugly, greasy, awful face talking about said books. So, I don't know, if you you like books, comment below what books you'd like me to read. I'm probably going to be reading the the Witcher series next, though. I really, I really want to read. Witcher series. But if you if you do have a suggestion for me, definitely leave it, leave it in the comments below. Uh, I want to check it out. Uh, I like reading. Reading is good. Reading is fun. It's, it's good. I, I like being literate. Li- being literate is fun. It's, it's really good. I enjoy it. 